right, so today I'm going to show you how to tie this knot, which is the full Windsor knot. Uh, this is probably one of the most versatile, well-known uh, tie knots there is. You should definitely know how to tie this knot if you're a well-dressed gentleman. Um, it's symmetrical, it's a bit of a wider knot, but it can really go with anything. This is me wearing it in Oxford. You can dress it down, you can dress it up depending on your tie. Um, this is me wearing it at a formal event just a few days ago. Um, it was originated in the early uh, 1900s in England. Don't confuse it with the half Windsor, which is a little bit less symmetrical, but it's a wide knot, versatile, classic. You should learn this knot. Also, the tie I'm tying it with is a bit of a shinier tie, gold tie, and it's from a company called The Tie Bar, which I would highly recommend. Very cheap ties, very well made, um, tons of selection. Uh, this bar here is also from The Tie Bar. Uh, all right, so you're gonna wanna start by having the short end of your tie about at where your belt would be. So I'm learning joggers, but about where your belt would be and then the long end hanging down on the extra. Now for this knot, uh, most of the tying is done with this long side. So you're gonna wanna bring the long side over. Make sure to keep this tight the whole time. Up through the middle, and then out. And you're holding it out, and then you bring it around, completely around the back. So now it's out here. Through the middle again, and then out this way again. So now you have this. Okay, and from here, you make want to make sure you're keeping this tight. Then you bring this over the front, and that's going to be the front of your knot. Then you pull the big end up through the middle again, and then this little pocket right here, just push it right down through there. Okay, and that's the basics of your knot, but it's kind of wide here. So just do some tugging on the big end to make it a little narrower, like that and then pull the big end through it. You can kind of pinch it and then make sure to stick the skinny end through the loops on the back of the tie. And now all you do is you hold the skinny end on the back and you push the knot up against your neck and tighten that to your liking. And you can make small adjustments by pulling on different things but that is, don't make sure if you're wearing an Oxford, make sure to uh, button these buttons here around the collar. Yeah, and then you can do, that is the full Windsor tie knot. And you might even want to finish it off with a tie bar that should go right about here. And that keeps your tie from, get that straight, that keeps your tie from swinging in the sink while you're washing your hands and it also just adds a stylish accessory to it.